Hello, today I learned about the American who invented Robin Hood. Yes, Robin Hood was not invented in Sherwood Forest, but rather in Delaware. Hi, I'm in Delaware. Now, by invented, I do mean invented the version we know today. So I'm being tricksy. Let's go back to Robin Hood himself. So songs about this outlaw called Robin Hood popped up and became very popular in the 1400s. A reference from the Times says that people would rather listen to stories about Robin Hood than go to mass. So this fellow was causing trouble. He was kind of like the pulpy fictional hero of the day, kind of the Batman of the 1400s. But important to remember that he's supposed to have lived in the late 1100s, around the time of Richard the Lionheart. So to the folks in the 1400s who were such massive fans of him, they were fans of a legendary fella who lived hundreds and hundreds of years ago. It's almost like people today seeing Pirates of the Caribbean movies and maybe as historically accurate too. In fact, in the 1400s, people were so mad on Robin Hood that they used to dress up as him to raise money for charity or just to have uh, a bit of a drinking party. It was almost like they'd have Robin Hood comic cons. And this even happened in the court of Henry VIII. Everyone dresses up as Robin Hood, drinks loads of ale. <laughs> now the stories about this outlaw would rumble on for another couple of hundred years and along the way it would pick up new additions like Maid Marian came in or Friar Tuck would come in. Now, let's get to the late 1800s when an American took all these scraps and myths about Robin Hood and put them together in one book called The Merry Adventures of Robin Hood. That fella's name was Howard Pyle from Delaware. And Howard had to tone down a lot of the stories for a children's book because previous to this, Robin Hood was more like maybe uh, the Cray brothers, who's this violent gangster who was kind of a bit of a hero, anti-hero in popular imagination. Howard made him a noble do-gooder who was only robbing from the rich so he could give to the poor. Howard stripped out stories where he killed 14 men because they simply lost a bet and took out bits where Robin killed innocent bystanders because they'd witnessed him committing a crime. No, 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 that's not the nice Robin we know. Now this book was a massive success and his vision of Robin Hood resonated right through the 20th century, influencing the way we think of Robin today and things like with Errol Flynn's Robin Hood, Kevin Costner's Robin Hood, that fox fella Robin Hood. Side note on Howard Pyle, he was also an illustrator and was so good that Vincent van Gogh said his illustrations struck me dumb with admiration. It was also his drawings of pirates in a more kind of flouncy style that influenced the way we all think about pirates today when in fact they would never have bothered dressing like that. That's something I learned today. I will have another one for you soon. If you like these videos, please share it with a friend you think might enjoy them too. I've got loads and loads on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.